That'll work. Did you sit on it? Oh, jeez. Scary. Ah! That was the scariest thing I've ever done. Leaning over this like a madman? It's got to be done. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're finally getting our outhouse started at least. It's probably going to take more than one day, but we're going to get the outhouse done. Finally, after getting materials, digging the hole. So much hoopla. So much hoopla leading up to actually building an outhouse. Holy crap. That's the <laughs> crapping <and> hole. <laughs> <laughs> So this is a little bit of an experiment. Um, road guy and some neighbors. Ever, I think every outhouse ever built is built different. So something they do with the gravel base up here in Alaska, or at least in this area of Alaska, almost works like a leach field in a septic system. If you do it right and you're sitting on top of the gravel, then all of the waste just works its way into the gravel. Okay, ready? Okay. That was the scariest thing I've ever done. That turned out exactly how I pictured it, imagined it. Worked great. So it might stay like that through the winter. Um, if we feel like working on it this winter, we'll work on it. But the big thing was we had to get it in the ground before the ground froze. That's the door we got for the outhouse. Yeah, it's not super duper. Super duper duper. Duper sale. Clearance at low, so. So. It's like a $600 door. I think we got it for $150. Something like that. It was crazy. And the cabin kit comes with doors, so we're going to have a super duper outhouse. <laughs> Got it. Smoking. Okay. Now, I'll take just a little bit off of there. So I have two of these under the outhouse. It's going to kind of be what we're going to build them on. So it'll be on either side of it. Build it up on top of there, and then if this whole plan doesn't work <laughs> with the way you know, we built the box under the outhouse and everything should just break down and disappear. If that doesn't work and we do have to move the outhouse, it'll be on these skids, so it should drag easier to slide it over a new outhouse hole. So.
want the door to face that way, right? Now's your last chance to change your mind. I thought either door that way, window that way, or window that way, and door that way. Door that way. Towards the cabin? Okay. Then I need this side and this side. All four sides. Oh my goodness. Up. Yeah. Woo. Don't fall. Okay. What I'm trying to do here is stick a little bit on the table so I can get these square. What do you need from me? I need communication. Those are heavy. They're very heavy. Give us a little bit of wiggle room. You want to run and grab some more two by fours? Yeah. I'll check on Henry Denry. but hopefully we never really have to move it. Yeah. Either way, you need something to, to build up from. I'm gonna push against that close. I'm such a good helper. You are. It's the most important piece to the puzzle. Wonder if the time will ever pass that I don't stare at that child to make sure he's breathing. <laughs> he can be moving and I still stare at his chest to be sure he's breathing. The throne. See, that's 19. I don't know where they're getting that 18. That's full of baloney. I try to be a useful wife in these things building and stuff, but he's the builder, not me. And I gotta check on my dude. Every so often, but I can do the mundane things and get him a piece of plywood, a sheet of plywood, but it's covered in crap. So, huh. let's do this. Oh, whose coffee mug is in the way now? What happened to this sheet of plywood? Good you know? lord. Don't know. What does it mean? <laughs> Considering it was flat in the truck. <laughs> Welcome to the Home Depot. This is a weird tape measure. Like, I feel like you're just asking to get slapped by it, you know, if you like put it down too hard and it... Can you hold that? No. You think you can hit it? <laughs> Better ask your dad how much he's going to pay me an hour my carpentry skills. He could really use me on his team, you know? Expert! Here. Let me show you something. He ain't showing me crap! I'm the pro! Okay. Ah, copy down. The other thing, we're gonna throw some of this underneath where there's gonna be a lot of like condensation coming up. Pull a paintbrush. Levi will let me struggle with that because he loves me. This is all going to be exposed. Okay. You know, at ground level. I thought this stuff was green. No. It's going to turn green. Figured oh, out. Deal. If I pour this from the side, 
I don't spill as much. That's it's what I was thinking. Probably how you're supposed to do it, but... If I did everything how I was supposed to do it, I probably wouldn't be living here. At least I can do this ugly, you know? Yeah. Doesn't have to look nice. That's the stuff I don't like. You do or don't like it? I don't mind it. Yeah. The detail stuff? Oh, man. Just kill me now. You could straight tell people that we're building a log cabin so that I don't have to paint a house and it would be believable. Aw. Yep. Oh, except you have to stain the logs. Cancel the plans. So what Levi's doing is building us up a little bit with some two by fours because what we didn't think about is we don't have access to gravel to add to this for the skids to go on. And there's only like two inches of space and four inches of box sticking out. So we needed to lift up with gravel, but we can't get to any gravel. So we didn't think about that. So we're putting these in to lift it for now. And then in the spring, when we have access to gravel, we'll skid it off, put gravel in, put it back. Right? Yep. And what I should have done if I had a just looked over here and saw it at the beginning. I just would have built that different. It'll slide really easy off these 2 by 4s We can test our skids. Yeah. I don't want to push. What if I go in? This is a pole only situation. Quite awake in the truck when I put him in the snow. Getting so tired. Just a stinking happy boy. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see if I can get this thing built without dropping any tools in. Yeah, it's not, not as easy as I thought it would be. I'm gonna need one of Dad's sawhorses. What? Yeah. You can't do that. What if he finds out? Good nap, so we can, so I can help for a bit.
that's way more dug up than it was. Of course, it snowed since. Looks like a pretty good sized track back there. Oh, yeah. Looks like wool. So our big homestead project right now is our outhouse. But we are running out of frozen creeks to get my burl post. It's an eventful ride in this morning. Yeah. I am shaking. <sighs> so, that moose, it wouldn't be fair to say she charged, but, right? I, ears panned coming towards us, I wasn't a fan. Our friend was just telling us to watch out for that grumpy moose in the road that doesn't want to move. And I've got video, we were way 60 yards away at least when we stopped to let her go. I'm shaking. That was scary. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna keep heading to the property now. the rest of the cup holder on the snow machine retreating from the moose. Dave just said they get cranky this time of year, huh? He's a good sleeper. It's hard to do things. It's hard to bend over with him. Side you want to grab your toilet paper for? The right side? Why? Why the right side? I don't know. Why? So we got all cattywampus and <laughs> they uncattywamped it. There you go. I don't know what was wrong or what I did to fix it. But it's less cattywampus than it was. It's That's my out. story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> sticking The only reason we got an outhouse window is we got it for free. Had to put it somewhere. And all the windows for the house come with our cabin package, so. Becca wanted to put it in the chicken coop. I wanted to put it in the outhouse. As the one who got the free window, outhouse won. So. <laughs> if you want to take the one your coffee cup's on.
it's so falling good. Good morning. We're back again for round 47 of the outhouse. And hopefully today's the day we'll get her done. Got to put up plywood on the windiest day yet because why not? Yeah. Door. Why not? It's funny because it's in the 30s today. Yeah, it's like it's warm, up with mine. but the wind is cold. So, Henry's asleep. We're gonna try and get something done around here. I might peek at him since he wasn't quite asleep. Make sure he's not stealing. So don't fall in, is that kind of the goal? That is definitely the goal. Oh, honey, I'm scared of heights. How did I get this job? <laughs> Leaning over this like a madman. It's got to be done. That'll work. Did you sit on it? Oh geez, That's scary. How are you getting up there? Um, so here's my plan, okay? I think we should get you a ladder at our next town trip. Yep. I think so too. Just seems like it might be a little easier. That was the most terrifying thing. This is performed by trained professionals. My phone just fell out of my pocket. <laughs> and landed two inches from that hole. <laughs> no way. And then bounced on the floor. You know, we don't claim to be the brightest people. I mean, it's a clean outhouse hole. Yeah, but you never would have. It's like but nine it's feet deep. deep. I'd like to take this moment to say this is not a how-to video. This is not recommended. And do not judge us. Versus you go try and buy a one by four trim board, it's like twelve dollars. Yeah, no. All right, one last thing to get done on the outhouse this morning. Got to get the metal up there. It finally broke down, and 
trot a ladder out here by the snow machine. Kind of a pain, but it works. So let's get her done. Just some little things that we thought on design for this outhouse. So I got two vents on either side that will actually vent out the hole underneath the outhouse to allow airflow through there. And then if we need to vent inside the outhouse, we can always crack the window. Um, the whole goal was to have a well-sealed outhouse to keep bugs out of, which is part of my trim. I need to seal up some spots in the roof, but other than the roof, everything is very well sealed inside. Um, siliconed around the edges to seal the outhouse hole from the outhouse. So, should work good. I like it. Kind of came out as planned with some bumps along the way, especially with the roof, but it'll work. It's got a very nice door for an outhouse. All right, we're going to call that good on the outhouse. Later on, next time we're in town, uh, we might get some more trim just to finish up some stuff, but we're not planning on being back into town for about a month, so we're going to call that good for today. Overall, I think it turned out good. Some things I'm happy with, some things I'm not, but it ought to do its job.